everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all doing great in your lives i am pratibha rani and i think some of you know me and some of you don't know me so let me introduce myself again for the newcomers uh, and also my professional introduction has been changed a lot from last 2 years so little bit about me uh, i am pratibha rani a forensic professional working at safe sl kolkata basically i am working in forensic electronic division and uh, talking about my educational background i have uh, done my bachelor of forensic science from lovely professional university pagwara then i have done my master of forensic science from punjab university patiala and gold medalist 2022 from there and uh, i am double time ugc net qualified and fact qualified in cyber forensic domain and today i'm here uh, i like as you can see my screen that i'm here for fact examination as we all know that nfsc has released the notification regarding the fact and fact test 2022 i can feel you guys because um, when i was preparing for this exam i was also tense as you guys uh, and i was thinking that what kind of questions will come in exam so i can um, better understand your feelings that's why i have designed this pratibha's forensic notebook for you guys it's having my specialized notes for you you can take this notes from me or you can take screenshots on youtube channel also and one more thing i am coming with the youtube sessions i will be uh, taking two classes um, one is for paper one one is uh, and another one is for digital forensics as you can understand that it is not possible to cover all the syllabus of another domains also so I, that's why i particularly choose this digital forensic domain so so regarding the uh, syllabus i have uh, like i have decided that i'll be uh, taking classes um, as per the syllabus mentioned in fact 2024 syllabus you can connect with me on the linkedin profile and also on my community uh, pratibha's forensic notebook whatsapp community okay so uh, let's start with our first lecture that is principle of forensic science before proceeding with the principles we should know what is forensic as i already know that you guys are very intelligent you already know what is forensic and everything okay but let's remind it again the word forensic came from the latin word that is forensis which stand for a forum forum means a place where the legal or judicial discussions were taking place okay after that forensic science word came up forensic science is basically we can say that the applied science okay because in this science we are taking the principles of natural sciences and we are applying in uh, solving the crime and after that uh, we will be able to give answer in front of judicial okay so the forensic science is basically the application of basic science to solve crime and addressing matter of law okay now the first law is law of individuals it says that every object is different from each other and has its all own unique features okay so it says that every object natural man made has an individuality which is not duplicating any another object it has uh, given some examples for example the grains of sand or common salt seed of plants or twins looks exactly same but they are different if we will uh, measure them under the microscope they will be having some different characteristics so guys the second principle is principle of exchange it says that contact exchange traces and it is given by the french scientist edmond locard this principle basically says that every contact leaves a trace so guys i'll be giving you a very simple example if uh, you touch your screen if you touch your mobile screen right now that time you will see that your fingerprint marks will be transferred to your screen and you will get the dot from your phone screen now don't say me that your phone don't have dot and everything okay i'm just giving you a simple example to make you understand guys okay so if any person is visiting the crime scene they will be transferring something to that crime scene for example footprint will be transferred to crime scene and in exchange they will take the dot from the crime scene okay now the third principle is law of progressive change law of progress progressive change means everything changes with the passage of time i think this line is a really good for personal life also everything changes with the passage of time okay so this principle i think this principle is very much important uh, that's why people say people say uh, go to the crime scene early because as time passes the evidence will get destroyed by its own okay or by criminals also Uh, the next principle is principle of comparison it says that only like can be compared okay so for example if you are a forensic investigator and uh, the another organization ask you that uh, 
please tell me that this fingerprint belong to this person or not so in return you will ask them that please provide me the reference material the reference material should be the fingerprint only okay but instead of giving you fingerprint of that person they are giving you footprint of that person so will you will you be able to make the comparison of fingerprint and footprint no so that's why this principle is very much important that only like can be compared for fingerprint examination you need fingerprint for footprint examination you need reference material footprint so clear the next principle is principle of analysis this principle says that and the analysis can be no better than the sample analyzed so basically this principle emphasizes on the importance of collection of evidences okay means collect every evidence separately okay so that it can be better analyzed okay the next is so law of probability is basically all identification definite or indefinite are made consciously or unconsciously on the basis of probability so probability is a mathematical concept used in forensic science to determine the uh, occurrence of any particular event event that if any event happened we cannot directly say that this happened we cannot say this we we can only say that maybe this happened maybe what is there so we are giving probability that this may happen that might happen like this only so so in probability we have to use this formula facts do not lie man can and do this is actually uh, not a principle or law in forensic science but just a journal statement facts do not lie man can and do let's for example of a crime scene the one person is saying that i was not present when the, this crime happened i was not present here but the fact is his fingerprint and footprints were found at that particular place so it is clearly understood that he was lying okay so you can also read this example from my screen okay so now we are done with the principles of forensic science i hope you understood all the principles clearly or still if you feel you need to discuss with me or you are not understood this you can contact me on the above mentioned contact links okay bye take care and like and subscribe and share this video care we'll meet in next video on the digital forensics bye bye